What's up? Welcome back. Um, I hope this production has gone up a little bit. I'm still just getting caught up with uh, trying to get my video editing uh, on point. But anyways, uh, this is probably the worst way to work on your go-kart. And the most unsafe way is by using a bench grinder stand from Harbor Freight to balance uh, this thing. It's very uh, unsteady and will fall over at any moment. So with that being said, let's get into the build. So plans for this are, uh, this motor was great. It um, was a thousand watt brushless motor. I did the shunt mod on this, which means you uh, take it apart and there are these two little connectors and you kind of just push them together and put some solder in between. Um, and that's supposed to help, I don't know, boost the top speed or something, but it was still kind of slow. 48 volt got a lot of room back here a lot of room to work with um, I'm planning on using a 72 volt battery and then some extra uh, 12 volt batteries to power the accessories and by accessories I mean probably some of these guys oh wrong one probably some of these guys um, I got some pod lights I got some uh, light strips I got some floodlights, and pod lights are the, uh, the small little rock lights. Oh, oh, uh, rock lights. Yeah, the build's gonna come, come along pretty sweet. I, uh, I'm excited to kind of get into it. There are times when you're bored, or you may be thinking to yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I spending money into making this thing faster? And, you know, you keep asking yourself why and why until finally you go on a ride and it makes it all worth it. Oh, here I go. Going into traffic. Eventually when you're done, you feel a lot better because you feel accomplished and you feel like, well, uh, now I have a really fast um, mini motorcycle or really fast mini go-kart. Got the wife on the go-kart. There's a lot going on in my brain, but uh, I'm sure there's a lot going on in everyone's brain. That's the way the world is right now. So find something that you can relax on and just kind of nerd out on and take place in the serenity of building, that is building and customizing electric, personal electric vehicles. Okay. So lots of stuff to install. Got the strobe lights, got the flood lights, maybe those pod lights. Got some uh, rock lights and <clears throat> this thing underglow, the switches, and then the fuse box. All right, and you guys decided it. And by I mean you guys, uh, one person commented it, so thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm, I am gonna go with the, uh, the low a low bar mount. So I've made some marks. I'm gonna go ahead and cut cut this down. Just like that. Power of magic. Uh this thing's cut. Okay.
Well, that took a lot longer than expected, but I got them in, got the uh, front light mounted, got the side pod lights mounted. Let's go ahead and do a demo. So, I think the rear flashes are bright enough. So I sat in the cart and it's a little tight, so I think I'm gonna raise the steering wheel. <clears throat> but let's see. The flashes are done. Side pods are done. Under clothes done. Dang, box switch, fuse box. Look what just came in the mail. Lone Star Electric. Let's open it up. Let's see the motor. Are the keys? Oh, what? Lone Star Electric lanyard. Oh my God. There's the motor. The QS90. Wow. There she is, boys. QS90. Check out this bad boy. ND 72360, far driver, getting it. The key switch and the harness packaged nicely with XT, uh, XT90 connectors like I requested. Thank you, Gerardo, you the man. Here's my 12 volt battery that I ordered off Amazon. Links to the product in the description down below. It is a 12.8, 20 amp power uh, LifePo lithium ion battery, um, deep cycle battery. So I know it's going to be able to power my lights. No problem. One eternity later. Holy shit. Well, that took a good hot minute, um, but I got everything done. I'm gonna get this thing loaded up into the truck. The garage is a mess. Um, 72 volt in, QS90 in, far driver controller in, chain tensioner, um, looks like shit, but it's in. And lights all on. They all work. They're all good to go. Um, daytime run. So I'll show you the lights uh, at night when I get back. Um, but let's get this thing loaded in the pickup. And I go for a test run. Well, there she is. As requested, I have chopped the rear bar. So that goes in like this. Get in there. And uh, I've also uh, added a removable steering wheel. Yeah, so I changed the rear sprocket to a 51T now. Oh my God, this thing is so much better. Climbs up the hill, no problem. Um, I can't really show you right here, but I'll, I'll bring it back up in a little bit. But 51T, so much better. That's the way to go to this rear sprocket. So uh, this has been awesome. What an awesome build. Look at this Mototech go kart. Let's get a night shot later, hopefully. Okay, here it is. First time in the wild. Let's hope it lasts on this ride. I see a lot of skateboards, a lot of uh, boards with bigger batteries, and I'll probably end up dying. Steering linkage fell off and I'm uh, separated from the group now. So, just like that, back to the garage. If it doesn't work, we fucked up. It's alright, we'll figure it out. Oh shit, what's going on? I'm on a Wow, what a ride! Holy shit. Linkage broke in the beginning, I got lost downtown. Then I came across a group of bikers that reunited me with my group, and here I am riding downtown again. Man. What a day. Well, I got lost from the group, but I found the group. A group of vigilante bikers eventually brought me back, and I made it back to the group ride. And all is well with the go-kart so far. 
linkage fell off in the beginning, but we got that figured out. And uh, I made it down here, so hopefully I can make it back in one piece. Successful ride. Successful first ride with the Mototech. That's the East Gate. Out here, Point Loma, Liberty Station. Oh man, what a journey it's been for that go kart. Still has a long way to go. So. It goes night and dark with the go kart. Hopefully, everything works this time. The linkage domes fall off and we make it back at one place. That is the whole SD East Gate ride. He went in on the go kart. They said it couldn't be done. Proved them wrong, all right? Here we go. So I blew the tire. We're gonna see if I can get back. I got all the people showing up right now. Hopefully, we can make it back in one piece, but I'm just gonna rough it on top of it. Let's do it. Good. Tire's done. Off the beat. It's gonna need more than just air, but we're gonna make it. We're in the streets, goddammit. Shit. Whatever. We're gonna make it work. <laughs> make it work. What choice do we have? Running it. Fucking sending it anyways. Because you don't have a choice when you're out here in the streets on a go-kart. You want to get hit by a car? Go ahead. But as long as I'm in a group setting, I'm, I'm a little bit safer. Um, that is not safe at all. Fuck it. You gotta make it back. These guys. Holy shit, we made it. Man, what a ride. What a ride. The thing is fucking hanging on by a thread. We're doing it. We are sending it. Oh, we got no steering left in this thing. But I'm doing it no matter what. Get to the car. Now we well, we made it back to the shop in one piece, but that was a uh, pretty intense ride. The tire's done, it's completely off. The tire has been shredded. Look at that, shredded. I was running it on the rim for a quick hot second, so I hope it's not damaged too bad. But man, I knew I should have upgraded all four tires. So you get the back ones are good. The front one, this one's about ready to go next. So, yeah. What a ride. San Diego Eastgate, repping it. Thanks Kyle for the hookup. LA Eastgate, go kart. Uh, thanks for watching. Got the wife on the go kart. The tires and the dog. Right on the unicycle. Cause I'm lazy. Um, Awesome. Look at that. Okay. Try to go.